All right, fellas, what's going on? Dananu here, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And we're back with the Lai Lilu Lalo podcast, episode number four. Uh, the laid back podcast where I just talk about everything and anything <laughs> that piques my interest or tickles my fancy. But um, we're going to be playing a few different games here as I change topics here, just to break it up a little bit. I mean, I just don't want to you know, play the same thing the whole way through. <laughs> so we're going to be doing it live. Fuck it. Just like the one white guy from that video, that news anchor guy. But anyway, uh, first things first, we are going to be talking about uh, Destiny 2 here since um, I'm kind of kind of late with this. I did it when it came out. This is my, actually my second time doing this video here. Uh, and I wasn't happy with the first one, so I'm sitting here going to redo it. And man, I thought I thought that guy up top was going to hit me. But um, Destiny 2 came out with the um, their reveal trailer, and uh, I figured I'd give my thoughts on it. Being somebody who played Destiny, um, I think I played it until probably until two months after Taken King play, uh, came out. That's what uh, that's when I kind of jumped off, and I was not happy with the original Destiny. Let me get that right out the gate. I'm not one of those people who just love the game for the sake of loving it because it's the greatest thing ever. No, Destiny was a ripoff, plain and simple. And uh, they knew that from the get-go, but, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of have a negative feeling about the game is because, I mean, basically, I feel like I got ripped off. I bought the game twice. I bought it for me and uh, for a friend of mine <laughs> just so he could play with me. And um, it was a great game. I love Destiny for the premise. I'm into sci-fi. I'm into all that, you know, all the all the you know the aesthetic of the game i love it but i didn't feel like i got my money's worth and uh that's because they kept making you you know do the same things the game didn't have no story it was just bare bones like it was a good premise it was a good foundation to build on but i don't think that they built on it you know i think that they fixed it somewhat i'm not going to sit here and say that oh well, they didn't do shit but i think it was um it was an okay attempt but just that they didn't do enough and, uh, mm, damn, just like I didn't do enough there to kill that guy. But, uh, it needed some work. So now that you got the, the second, you know, game coming out, um, I don't blame the developers for a whole lot. Um, I do blame them that the story got cut out and, you know, they shipped a shitty product and everything. So, I mean, I got to blame them point blank and period for that. But, um, I believe they had some things behind the scenes that they had to deal with and uh, I think just we just got the short end of the stick on that one we got bent over the table and you know our wallets had to take the <laughs> you know our wallets had to take that beating so to speak but with the second game I feel like they're stepping their game up uh, they're finally or at least it looks like now, now now don't get me wrong it looks like they're trying to bring it oh man can I not die on this part please Looks like they're trying to bring a story to the game. And uh, it looks okay from what I'm seeing. You know, it looks okay. Let me say that again. It looks okay. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look like it's groundbreaking. It doesn't look like they're really doing anything really different. Um, there looks like they're adding more content to the game. Um, so far, I'm trying to see if this is actually hurting this guy. It looks like it's not, but let me see. Let me get up on over here. Oh, okay, okay. So it did kill him. Um, it looks like it's a glorified expansion pack, though. Not a fan of that. I mean, I want a new story, new content, and this feels like, oh, look, you know, like, it feels like they're rehashing the same ground. Like, um, yeah, you got this big cabal guy coming in, wrecking shit up. So how is that any different from the Taken King when he came in there and wrecking shit up? You know, it's just like, you know, it's, it's, it feels like the same, the same old thing. Um, yeah, they're adding, you know, cutscenes and stuff to the game and they're trying to advertise it as such too. Like I remember reading one article where it was like, oh, this is the most cutscenes we've, you know, we've added in the game. I'm like, you shouldn't have to, that's, the, that's not a selling feature. The amount of your cutscenes is not, <laughs> not a feature to sell your game with. That's some bullshit. But they're just saying that because the last game didn't have no cutscenes and no story. So it feels like they gotta, they gotta justify it. And that's why I don't trust the word they say. I'm just going to say that right out the gate. I don't trust them. I don't trust the word they say. After part one, I'm I'm not stupid, YouTube. I'm not one of those people who I feel like I have to spend my money on a game. Or or I feel like I have to support a game. Fuck that. 
you know, based on my previous track record with their game, they gave me shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Destiny 2 the uh, the wait and see treatment. Um, I'm not going to pre-order it. I'm not going to get the game when it comes out. Uh, I'm going to probably wait two or three weeks. And... Oh, okay, good. Ooh, thought I fell in the, the bubbling blood down there. But um, I'm going to wait and see. And uh, I'm going to give it its fair shot. I'm going to, you know, when it comes out, I'm not going to get it, like I said. And I'm going to just, uh, you know, wait and see what people are saying about it on YouTube. Probably watch an Angry Joe video about it. See if he rants about the game. Um, you know, watch a couple LPs of it. And if I feel that the story is worth it or, the, or that the game is worth my money, then yeah, I'll pick it up then and I'll probably pick up two copies, one for me and one for my friend just to fuck with him because I know he don't like it either. <laughs> so um, I got to at least torture him with that. I mean, buying games is no problem for me. I can buy any game to come out, but, but, but it, you know, I just has to feel like it's worth it. And to me, Destiny 1, I'm sorry, doesn't. Feels like it, it was, uh, it was a great start, but it, it was far from finished, so to speak. So if Destiny 2 is... Ah, uh, hold on, fellas. See if I can get him the. To... Trying to remember, there was um. I bought this game, but I have her there. There it goes. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, take that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, I might have to rush by him. We're gonna try this one more time, and if we don't get it, we're gonna switch games. But um, I'll give Destiny its fair shot. Like I said, um, I don't trust them. I'm going to wait and see. And because uh, nothing about the game really, you know, is it, it, it's I want to get it because I'm in a sci-fi and I like the premise of Destiny. But what I don't like about it is it feels like they're doing, you know, they're giving you the bare minimum. Like, here's a story. OK, cool. Whatever. Cutscenes scenes out, whatever. But like it's like, oh, here's three new supers. But yet you're still playing the same busted classes from the older ones. You know, oh, we are we're adding new exotics. Like, no, how about give me something different than exotics? We already had that shit in part one. I understand that's like the main thing of the game, but it's just like that's what I that's why I figure they're doing the bare minimum. They're just giving you more of the same, and that's why I got to give it the wait and see because you know I you know the same of what I got with part one was bullshit. So I I, I need more meat on my plate. <laughs> you know, I'm a big dude. I need I need more. You know, I'm used to dealing with big things in my life, YouTube, and. Uh, I want Destiny 2 to be big too, and 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 for me, I just don't don't see it yet. I don't see it. I gotta give it um, I gotta give it its time to build up, and and hopefully they deliver something truly awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, you know, I'm not gonna just bash the game and just say it's gonna be shit. But like, I gotta I gotta wait and see. Uh, get by him, yeah, uh, dude, you were in my way. Oh, that wasn't a letter. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, cool, cool. What's this? Is that anything? That is a push block. Okay. But like I said, I gotta give it the wait and see. I gotta see what they do with it. And right now, what I'm hearing about the classes, I don't like. It's like, I like... Oh, I'm about to die. Ew. Oh, you changed up. You took two steps forward, you bitch. Alright. Let's change things up here. Uh... Hmm. Now, speaking of Destiny, why not? Let's see if I still have my character. I deleted the game and uh, <laughs> and I and I redownloaded it to get all the um to uh try to get some multiplayer you know matches and stuff for commentary. So I don't even know if I have my character because I remember deleting the game. So I don't know if that if that deletes your characters or not. But anyway, like I said, I gotta see what they do with it. I gotta I gotta test the waters. I gotta. What is this? Oh, oh change, they must have changed the ULA agreement. Um, I got to see what they do. And I like what I'm hearing about the story. As long as it's like six to eight hours, I'm fine. Uh, I don't want to jump in there and play like no two hour campaign like the first game. You're like, oh, this is a story. Wasn't that great and epic? No, bitch, it wasn't. It was, it was collecting cards and doing other dumb shit. It was a premise, not a story. Barely had any fucking lore. But... I'm hoping the second game cuts out all that lore card system bullshit. Um, I'm hoping it has matchmaking for the raids. Uh, from what I'm hearing, I don't know the reason why they just don't put full-blown matchmaking in it. Um, in this day and age, it kind of puzzles me. Why don't they do that? 
Oh, still on my characters. That's what's up. All right. Looks like I'm going to probably be playing on my Titan if I buy part two. But um, it's it's one of those things where, oh, they probably changed a lot since the last time I started this game. No, oh, you might as well change the whole game because. <laughs> Fuck no. Circle. Thank you. All right. Where are we going? Ah, uh, shit. Fuck it. Let's go back to the old stomping grounds. And, um, like I said, it's, it looks promising, but I'm not one to get my hopes up and they got to step to the table. They got to come to the table. Correct with me in order to get my money. Uh, cause I'm not liking what I'm not hearing about. They said the game's not going to have dedicated servers. That's probably Activision's decision. Cause they don't really put dedicated servers in all of their games. Again, why into this day and age? I have no idea. I mean, they got the money to do it. Why don't they do it? Who the fuck knows? Um, the game's going to kind of have matchmaking. It's it's like they're listening to what people want. Uh, so it's not all bad. They're not just doing their own thing. I'm receiving reports of fallen snipers in proximity to the patrol vehicle. Oh, oh, hold on for a second, you two. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why does my armor look like that? I didn't have that armor set on. Did they, did they just straight up give me some armor? Because I, I did not have this. Yeah, I don't recall. I mean, I'm not arguing. I'm just saying, like, I just don't recall getting this little chess piece here. Hmm. Okay. Free presents for me. I remember getting this one. Still got the bad juju. All right, now. But now I don't match, though. That's the thing. I got to match YouTube. Hold up, hold up. Let me. That's workable. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that just ruins my whole my whole scheme here. Mm, I like these. I don't recall getting these either. All right. Well, hand cannon. Yeah, I'm not. I'll use hand cannons anyway. Yeah, they must have gave you this for free some kind of way, cause. Why is the defense rating three? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they probably gave you that for free sometime. See, I don't recall getting this Spectre plate either. Maybe is this something else they gave you for free? Is this like some new sleek Iron Man shit? Cause I, because I like this right here. Like, this, this must be some new shit. Maybe they, you know, this is them giving you like, hey, thanks for coming back to the game. Here you go. I like this, though. Hold on, do I got the, the legs for that? How they gonna give me chess pieces, but, but not the legs to match? Fuck you, game. Do I got a Spectre helmet? Oh, that was this one here. All right, that's not that bad. Not that bad. It's not what I would typically normal normally wear, but I like this one, and um, I like these little um, the visor ones. Well, not that one, but like this one here. I like these right here. But uh, let me, let me go back and pick my uh my Iron Man face faceplate here. Let's just jump back into it, shall we? I gotta remember how to play the game here. Uh, vehicle? Do I still got my thingy? Yep, okay. This is new? I don't... Re they, they upgraded speeders? Like... <laughs> okay. This must be some new shit, too. They must have gave... Yeah, just straight up giving you new shit. But, um... Okay. But, yeah, like I was saying. Uh, I gotta test the waters with the game. I gotta see what they do. And, um... It's like... I'm, I like some things about it, but I'm not liking other things I'm hearing about it. And that's what's turning me off of it for right now. Um, they have to step their game up. They got to change, you know, how, you know, how, you know, change their business model. That's what I'm trying to get out here. And then, you know, then from there, maybe, maybe I'll pick up the game. Maybe. But they have to do a complete 180 from what they've been doing. Like, giving us patrol, empty patrols. We're just killing a few enemies here and there. This, this isn't going to do it. I'm sorry. It's not. Not by any means. From what I hear, they've um, they're giving you new planets to go to. The patrol area is going to be bigger than any map that they built before in the game. But but yet they're a lot of the the one area in the game was supposed to be in this game that they cut out. So it's like 
are they giving us DLC expansion pack content and calling it Destiny 2? It's like, that's where you got to draw the line to figure out what they're giving us and is it going to be something new or is it just old shit? Um, Because this game already had that problem to begin with, so. I'm trying to do something here. I'm trying to go to where I can shoot at least something worthwhile, but. But so far, I'm I'm optimistic about Destiny 2, but it's one of those things where, you know, they just got to impress me. And it's like, they don't even have my attention right now. <laughs> so it's like, you you know, they got to they gotta do their damn thing. All right, how do I... I forgot how to get off this thing. There we go. All right. All right, let me change my topic here. Uh, some bad news here. We got um, Square Enix laying off uh, IO Interactive, the people who made Hitman. And... Uh, this is old news probably by the time this you know this video comes out um, probably by at least a couple weeks and it's just I just wanted to get my thoughts on it I think it's fucked up um, I don't know why Square Enix laid them off um, I don't know how well Hitman did or how well it didn't do but uh, maybe they had high expectations for it and maybe you know the game just didn't meet those high expectations um, I don't know if this was Sony Japan or Sony America but Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, not Sony. Uh, Square Enix. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm assuming it's Square Enix Japan that's making the decisions over there. But I could be wrong. It, you know, I don't follow the industry news like that. I just follow the topics and the news of the, about gaming, but not what each studio is. You know what you know, what their policies and all that shit is. Um, all right, am I gonna get jumped or? I know this is typically the area where you had to do you know defuse the bomb or whatever, but it's just messed up when people get laid off. Because from, from what I hear about Hitman, Hitman was, uh, it was a good game. You know, it wasn't like the best in the franchise, so to speak. But it was a, you know, a good game quality-wise. I mean, it just sucked. I think I, I think a lot of people probably didn't buy it. Because Square Enix wanted to try that business model of um, uh, breaking things into episodes and stuff like that. Because I think Hitman was like the first game they tried that with. They tried to pull a, a a Walking Dead with the franchise, and I know, I know back when they said that, and um, they also said Final Fantasy was gonna be like that too. I know a lot of people didn't fuck with it, uh, you know. So a lot of people didn't, you know, didn't like that idea. So maybe that's why it turned people off, and it just sucks to see that a studio is getting shit on because of something that was probably outside of their control. Because Hitman was always a niche game. Um, it was always, I'm not gonna say the game wasn't casual at all. Um, and I think that it, it's it's it just sucks because you shouldn't have like super high expectations for that game. That game's not you know not gonna sell millions and millions of copies based on what it is just because it's a niche game. Um, this is my melee button. There we go. If I remember it, I had the fiery fist. Mm. And um, you know it it just sucks to see this happen. Um, I'm trying to think. It was another studio recently that got laid off too. I'm trying to remember what that is. Um, oh, oh, not laid off. I remember it was a uh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Um, to switch topics here, they also having some bad news. Um, incredibly deserved though. <laughs> um, it, it just sucks. They came out and said that that they're putting Mass Effect on hiatus, and that's some bad news. Like their game just came out like two months ago. For them to come out and say, oh, you know what? We're not making another one. It's kind of like, uh Like, I know the game had tons of flaws and all that shit, right? The animations were trash. Uh, the facial, you know, all the all the talking and shit was kind of fucked up. Story was straight ass. I know I'm still playing through it. I'm hoping it gets better. But from what I played, it's straight ass in comparison to the old ones. But none of that is justified to scrap your game. You know, and, and normally, see, normally companies will say this in like, let's say like a year or two in, like the game's been out for a year, maybe two. Then they'll be like, you know what? We're putting our game on hiatus. You know, we, we won't be making another one for a while, you know, but this is a mass effect. Like one of the biggest selling franchises that EA has. And it's one of those things where it just came out. Yeah, it got a lot of negative press. Like, I mean, I don't know how well it sold, but it had to have sold well. I mean, it's Mass Effect. And everybody probably bought it not knowing how bad it was going to be. So I'm I'm sure the numbers had to have been good. And for them to just not, you know, do anything else, it's... 
it hurts my heart because I'm a fan of the franchise. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I don't know why they would choose to do that. Um, from what I understand, I know Bioware has a uh, another game on the back burner that they're trying to make, uh, a brand new IP. Maybe, you know, they're, they want to push that out first before making another Mass Effect game. But you took five years to make this one, you know, Andromeda. So it's like, how long are we going to have to wait for the next one? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just like, it's one of those things where like, what the fuck? Like, you know, that's why I think that maybe they're just going to scrap Mass Effect and just let it die. And if that's the case, that's fucked up. Like, I really don't want that to happen. But, I mean, it is what it is. I just think that they're fucking up from a business standpoint. Like... They need to get whatever A team they got to come back and work on Mass Effect. Cause, because that B team that they did for Andromeda with all that social bullshit and all of that dumb shit in it. They should just scrap that game. Like, like they need to get, you know, like some good writers in there. They need to get their A team back working on the game and then, you know, come out. That's what that's what they should do. Like, yeah, you know, we fucked up with Andromeda. You know, we understand we, you know, we fucked up, but... But, you know, for Andromeda 2, we're putting forward, you know, we're putting our best foot forward. We should, you know, we got to continue what we left off. And, you know, we're not just going to leave you guys hanging. That's what, that's the kind of article I should be reading. I shouldn't be reading that, oh, yeah, you know, well, we don't know when we're coming out with the next Mass Effect. We're just going to, you know, put it on hold for right now. I shouldn't be hearing that shit, YouTube. The game just came out. The last, the last time I heard that shit, normally when that shit happens, they don't make games. Like, the last time I can remember that happening right when the game came out was fucking, what? the the medal of honor 2010 sequel game um i forget what the subtitle is but it was medal of honor right you had the 2010 game came out and then they came out with like a sequel like in 2012 and that game came out in october and was so buggy and glitchy and didn't sell that by like that december like two months later you know they were like you know what we're scrapping this game we're putting it on a definite um indefinite hiatus and no we're not supporting it so that's that's like the last time i heard that shit and it's just like I, I don't want to hear that for Mass Effect. I mean, it's a Mass Effect. This isn't some kind of like bullshit brand new IP that just didn't take off. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's just, it's fucked up. It is. And it's just like, I don't even know what to say about it other than that. I mean, it's just fucked up. This is one thing I hope that comes back with Destiny 2. Like, I love the Hammer of Soul. Or, you know, the, the, like, the hammer is the shit. It's, like, my favorite super in Destiny. Like, you know, back in the day before it was nerfed. <laughs> Let me say that. Before it was nerfed. I got a video up of it. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can throw it in the description if anybody wants to take a look at it. But it's, like, it can wipe out entire teams several times. And, and, and I love it. I, lo I, lo I loved it. And then they nerfed it. And, or at least back when I was still playing it, I remember they nerfed it in the game. And, uh. It wasn't, it was still good, but it wasn't as good. <laughs> like when they just came out with it. It was it, like, it was OP and I loved it for it. Get out my way. But yeah, man, it, it, it's just fucked up. Like, like it, it would be different. Like I said, if the game t had like a year to come out, you know, like if they had it out for a year and then they were like, you know, what? but we just weren't, you know, we just want to work on other projects. You know, it is what it is, you know, but no, they're like the game just came out. That tells you they have no faith in the franchise anymore. Otherwise, because the moment you come out with an article like that, when you think business wise, right? Business is all about um, pr pretty much it's all about the bottom line and numbers. The it, It's just like, let's say, like if you're playing the, you know, the, you know, the stocks and all that shit. The moment you come out with an article saying, you know what, like if Microsoft came out with an article and was like, you know what, the Xbox One isn't performing as it should. We're going to scrap that idea and we're going to work on the next one. You know, they're, they're within the rights to say that, you know, it's the same kind of sort of concept. They, they, they're they not performing as well as the PlayStation. PlayStation is pushing their shit in right now. So the moment you come out and say that, right, your stock is going to take a hit. Your stock is going to fall because it's like, okay, you're no longer producing product. So, you know, you have nothing for the people to buy. The moment in Mass Effect or, or, or when EO, yeah, when EO, when, when EA and Bioware came on and said, you know what, we're not supporting our game. You're telling anybody who reads that article, okay, don't buy Mass Effect. Don't buy our new game. That's what you're telling them. And that tells me from a business standpoint 
they don't have faith in their product. Otherwise, they would have just left it alone. They wouldn't say that. As, as, as a marketing machine, as a company, as a producer of products, you don't do that shit <laughs> right when your product comes out. Unless you can't, I mean, unless you can't support it, unless you have no faith in it, you know, in no way is it going to make you money. That's, that's the only time you would put that out and then try to come out with something else. You'd be like, you know what? Mass Effect didn't make us no money. We're not going to support it, but we got this bomb ass game that's about to drop and you're going to, you're going to love it as this and as that, unless, you know, to, to get public opinion and to spin a positive outlook on something. But they didn't do that. They just came out and said, you know what? We're, we're just not supporting the game no more. You know, I'm pretty sure they're going to probably support it with DLC and all that shit. I'm not going to say they're not going to do it like like EA did Medal of Honor. Right? I mean, I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they're going to probably support, you know, probably support Andromeda. But at the end of the day, who knows? They may do a 180 and just decide later on not to do that. I mean, who knows? It all depends on how their business model works. They may have cut some stuff out of the main game. And yeah, they just might piecemeal some bullshit DLC to us. And, you know, you know, try to get a little bit extra money out of it. But that's it. You know, it's it's just it's just fucked up, YouTube. It really is. But uh, now that we made a complete 180, and we did a 360 circle here on Destiny here, let me jump into something else. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got Ghost Recon. I guess we could do that. We got Titanfall. Let's just play some Titanfall. We haven't uh, I haven't played on Titanfall. It's probably been like two months since I played that. So. Let me jump to the next topic here. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this this a little bit short. So, <laughs> But um, I'm trying not to stretch it out to an hour. I'm really trying to cut these back. <laughs> Just because I know um, I ramble a lot and things like that. But um, also old news, um, probably about today. Uh, they're making a Witcher Netflix show. And I'm all for it. I'm pumped. Um, I don't think it's going to have anything to do with the games, um, only because, uh, ooh, new content, hold up, fellas, Glitch in the Frontier, Featured Mode, okay, must, must have got some new stuff since I jumped on, didn't they come out with like a prom titan, like a new titan to pick, could be wrong, but anyway, yeah, Witcher 2, I don't think it has anything to do with the games, uh, only because you had the author, uh, he, uh, I think the guy who writes the Witcher books, uh, he came out and said, oh yeah, you know, I'm glad they're, uh, they're pulling info from the source material, meaning the books rather than the games. Cause, um, I read a couple articles that said he wasn't a fan of what they did to his franchise in the game. I don't know. I don't know specifically what that is or, or what they mean by that, but I know he didn't, you know, he didn't fuck with the developers like that. So that tells me perhaps that, um, Maybe because I read a few of the books. I think I read like the first two or three. And um, from from what I uh, uh, hold on for a sec, fellas. Let me. Uh, oh, okay, just gonna jump me right on in. Um, but um, I read a couple books, and from what I know of of the books, the story is a little bit different. Not a lot, but a little bit different. And also, Geralt is a little bit different too. Uh, in the books, and maybe that's why the author's kind of mad. But in the books. Geralt acts more like, um, uh, if I had to name somebody who he acts like, he reminds me of Batman. Like, uh, Geralt in the games is kind of, he's roguish debonair. He, he doesn't get shot in the face like I did right there. But, um, he, he's roguish, he's likable, he's, yeah, he's a badass in his own little way. Um... Hold on, what's up, fellas? All right, let me not stick my head out no more. And um, he, he's a little bit more... Oh, uh, yeah, they, uh, they dropped him. Uh, he, uh, he's a little bit more roguish, right? Uh, where'd that guy come out from? All right, the other guy must have dropped him. But uh, he's a little bit more roguish. In the books, he he's more like Batman. Like, if somebody talks to him, he rarely talks back to him. He sticks to himself, always brooding, that kind of sort of thing. Maybe they change his personality up in the game, and that's why he don't, you know, like him and everything. But, if if that's the case, then perhaps 
maybe that's that's what they're going for with the well, with the series. They're probably gonna make it, and and this is just me guessing, but they're probably gonna do it just like how the um, how the game kind of just drops you into the world. They probably won't jump into an origin story or anything like that. They'll probably just jump you in like episode of the week kind of sort of thing. Like, oh, here's this guy wandering around town, kind of like uh, the Incredible Hulk show from back in the day. And they might have backstories about Geralt and where, you know, where they show snippets of his past and stuff throughout the episodes, things like that. They're probably not going to just jump you right into an origin story and then take it from there. Because they got to, that will take like two or three episodes of backstory, you know, to get you to that point. So that's just wasting time. They don't have to uh, jump right in with that. But I mean, I can't wait for it. I mean, as a fan of the franchise, of the game and the books, um, having a TV series, I wish it was, uh, oh, that's going to be a problem. Um, I would like for it to be like a syndicated TV show and not on Netflix. Because uh, typically Netflix shows, um, it all depends on the budget. Like typically, um, yeah, let me not go that way. Typically the budget for Netflix shows, depending on who backs them, uh, they can be pretty good based on the budget, but then, but then, uh, they, you know, typically if they got a cheap budget, the, the show's going to look like shit. Oh shit. Nope. They shoot me. But, uh, you know, typically that's how it goes. And it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I wanted to be good. So I wish it was on like HBO or something like that. Something like whoever makes like Game of Thrones. I want, I want them to make like a Witcher you know, TV show, because they're going to take, you know, they got the budget, and they're going to put the time in to do it right, you know what I'm saying? By being on Netflix, oh, grenade to the mouth. But, um, you know, it all depends on whoever's making it, and if, you know, and how they're going to do things, so. Uh, let me help them out here. I don't even know what Titan I got. Oh. My baby here, let's go. Damn right you transferring controls to pilot. We're about to get it in. Oops. Nope. Hold on, fellas. Get out of here. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you know, so far they just announced The Witcher, you know. So they're not like, you know, they didn't say what kind of story they're going to do. They're not going to say if they're going to put characters from uh, from the books and from the game in there. Um, if they put anybody in there, who knows if they're going to put Siri in there. Um, I'm going to assume they're going to put, like, Yennefer, Triss. You know, they're going to probably be in there like that, but... Anybody else who knows? Uh, that all depends on whatever story that they're trying to tell. Like I said, they may just do like an episode of the week kind of sort of thing. And just have Geralt going from place to place killing monsters and stuff. And uh, either way, that's not bad. Depending on whatever they go with, that ain't bad either. But, you know, you know it all depends on how they decide to work it, you know, at the end of the day. Oh, ah, damn. I was trying to go invisible on it and didn't have it. But uh, speaking of TV shows... Last topic we're going to be talking about here is uh, CW is, is making another superhero show with Black Lightning. And uh, he's a character from DC Comic Books from uh, from back in the day, from the 70s, I believe, who is, um, he's basically like an, a, a, an electricity-based uh, superhero. That's kind of like what his powers are, is electricity-based and everything. And uh, this is a superhero show. I don't think it's going to tie into uh, the Arrow, Flash, and that whole thing. Um, only because it doesn't look like it fits in the same vein as that. It's 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 going to be on the CW. Uh, if they do decide to do that later, you know, they can easily spin that in there. But from how the little teaser trailer looks so far, I don't think that's the case. And, um... Oh, shit. Pilot, your Titan is standing okay, he didn't eject. Call it when ready. Stand by for Titanfall. Don't kill 
There we go. Control transfer into pilot. Disengage. Right. Let's hold up. Let me see if I can get in here. At least get something done. Damn it. Messed that up. Oh, oh, I was about to say. I was about to say. <laughs> Alright, I know that guy's still in here. I didn't even know you could the day that they always had that little window right there. Nope. <laughs> no kills for you. But I think it could be pretty good. But anyway, Black Lightning. Black Lightning uh, seems like it's gonna be a new show. When well, I seems like it, it mean it is. Um, but it's a pretty decent uh, premise so far. Basically, it's about Black Lightning, who used to used to be a superhero, used to fight crime and everything. Uh, and basically, he got a family, and uh, he had a wife, had some kids on his, uh, had some kids on the way, and he got out of the game, so to speak. He raised his, uh, raised his two baby girls, and um, yeah, let me not even try to fight her. Ooh. Come back here, guy. Damn it! <laughs> and uh, he got out of being a superhero, and uh, basically, since he left. Uh, crime has gotten bad or, or worse, and it, uh, it filled the power vacuum, so, things, so criminals were getting more violent over and over and over again. And uh, where he has to pick up the mantle again, he makes a new suit, goes out to fight crime again. But the fighting looks a little bit better than, uh, than, than, than the typical Flash and Arrow vibe to it. Um, I don't know if that's because the trailer was cut good or because it is. But they had a couple scenes where it looks like looks like the fighting was a little bit better. Um, looks a little bit better. I know Arrow has good fighting, but most of the time in Arrow, like on the season premieres and stuff, the fighting is decent. But outside of that, the fighting can be kind of bullshit. But this looks like it was pretty good. Uh, so I'm hyped about that. The only thing I really didn't like about the Black Lightning little trailer thing is his costume looked okay. <laughs> you know? But I think they made the two LED lights on the chest a little bit too bright. It looks like he's a walking Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, I wish they'd have toned that down a little bit, but that looks kind of cheesy, but maybe that's the vibe that they're going for. Um, I know it kind of worked for Flash and things like that, but normally they like muted colors and, and superhero shows and things like that. So I don't know if um, if they if, if maybe they're doing it to be, you know, to be different or maybe they're trying to make Black Lightning stand out in addition from the other stuff that they got. Who knows? But uh, it looks pretty good so far. I can't wait to check it out. Uh, also, uh, this is recently good news from this morning. Um, they had the last Spider-Man trailer drop. And this tells more about the story of what's going on. And, uh, and it looks it looks damn good. Um, I'm hyped for the new Spider-Man movie. I mean, it's not like... Uh, not that Sony can't fuck it up since, you know... Since they got Marvel's kind of sort of influence and them guiding them, I mean, it looks decent. You had the Vulture doing some menacing stuff with Michael Keaton. You had um, Spider-Man being a young kid, like we have yet to see in all of the Spider-Man movies. Um, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a damn good movie. It's probably going to be probably the best-selling Spider-Man movie they ever made, uh, to be honest. Um, and and they're tying it all, you know, tying it all into the Marvel universe and all that. That's just going to make them more money. Spider-Man is going to probably be the biggest movie when it drops, um, bar none. Um, I don't know what else comes out within, I know it comes out soon, like in the next probably few weeks, uh, but I don't know if anything else is coming out, you know, around that time, but if it is, it, it won't be making no money. Um, it, it looks damn good. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about certain aspects of it, though. Him having a tech suit and everything, I know that's probably going to turn off a lot of people, but um, I think it fits the story that they want to tell. They have to show him with all the tech and the gadgets since he's relying on Tony Stark to push that. I'm assuming in the movie, um, he's going to take the suit away or it's going to get damaged or broke. He has to go back to his retro gear and beat the Vulture. And then probably at the end of the movie, he's going to be like, yo, here's the suit back. You know, I'm going to rebuild you another one. He's going to be like, you know what? I don't need it. 
and then and then that's how he's going to come into his own at the end of the movie because storytelling wise it's a coming of age story i mean if you're familiar with any of the major storytelling plot points it hits it beat for beat it's nothing really new story wise so i think that they're gonna you know do their damn thing and i think it's gonna make tons of money uh i do think however i'm not gonna really blame them because they got to get people pumped for it but uh, I think they showed a little bit too much, you know? You kind of know the whole story from watching this trailer. I wish that they'd have hid at least some things. Um, something else, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. The whole Shocker gang thing? Not feeling that. As a fan of Herman Schultz, <laughs> you know, a.k.a. the Shocker from Spider-Man comics, um, I don't like the fact that they're taking his character and splitting him up into a gang of three people. Um, if that's the case from the trailers, it looks like the shocker gang is just a gang of three people with souped up technology, which is fine. But I wish that I don't mind it being a gang. I just wish that one of those people was Herman Schultz, the shocker. And, and, and maybe that's the case. Um, I know the one guy they keep showing, I think his name is, a uh, Bokeem Woodbine. <laughs> I know he's been in tons of shit. <laughs> um, and, uh, he's a recognizable face and name, from, um, you know, from, um, you know, from seeing movies way back in the nineties that he was in. Um, I don't got to speak to shit. Screw you. But um, if he's the shocker, I'm, that kind of turns me off because I hate when they blackwash or whitewash a character. Uh, if he's not, though, and they just make the shocker into like, oh, here's the shocker gang and nobody in that gang is Herman Schultz. I'm going to be disappointed in that. But because they can easily just pick three random street level villains and just make them the shocker gang they don't have to break up one super villain and then make him into three different people that's just fucking stupid spider-man's rogue gallery is like the biggest rogue gallery rogues gallery in the history of comic books bar none uh maybe batman comes close but even batman only has like what eight or ten spider-man has like a lot of people <laughs> you know they don't have to cherry pick their villains and everything but um like i said we don't know if that's the case until the movie comes out and everybody actually sees it so but uh Movie looks good, YouTube. Movie looks good. Um, trying to think if anything else came out uh, recently, and I think that's that. That's been the latest uh, movie news or anything. Nothing new, comic book related movies have came out since then, or no new trailers came out. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Almost forgot. They had an X Men. Sony's making an X Men TV series, or or not Sony. I'm sorry. Fox. Fox is making an X Men TV series called X Men Gifted. I don't know how that's going to play out. I mean, how do you make something X-Men related without X-Men? Typically, when that usually happens, well, whatever the property is, it doesn't make money. And I'm going to go back to comic books. I mean, you, you take like X-Factor, Generation X, all of that stuff doesn't make money like the, the, the typical core X-Men does. Even if I had to go back to TV shows like, again, Generation X. Like, it's not the first X-Men TV show they came out with that was live action. I remember they had, like, two or three of them in the 90s, and they were all shitty. They were shitty as shit, YouTube. So I'm assuming uh, this one may be as well. I could be wrong. But um, one thing I do like about it is um, they're using other characters that you wouldn't normally see. Like, I think they're bringing in Blink from, uh, from the, you know, the movies. I think it's a different actor playing her. But they're bringing in Blink's character... Um, they're bringing in Polaris. Um, for those of you who don't know, she's, uh, I'm not going to say she's, she's not Magneto's daughter, but if a pseudo stepchild, he, uh, he just kind of rolled up and it was like, yo, she's rolling with me. She's my daughter, but she's not actually related to him. Um, but you know, she, she, she's in the show. So that's pretty cool. Um, that way they can have a Magneto esque character. Um, if they were smart, they would bring in X 23 to have a Wolverine-esque character, you know, do like a different spin on it from the movie, but they're not that smart. They're going to probably bring in, she, she's going to probably be the, the, the rec the most recognizable character in it. And nobody, if you, nobody outside of comic because I mean, it's going to know who Polaris is. So it, it, it's one of those things where, you know, they're, they're going to have to make a show about characters that don't nobody know about. And that's the thing that's, I don't, I don't think it's going to do well exactly for that reason. No matter what their storyline is, if the sh if nobody knows or recognizes these characters, then I just don't think the show's going to take off. Um, 
I mean, we you know we we'll gotta wait and see until you know until it comes out. But right now, that's like my first impressions of it. They probably they probably aren't gonna make a show. You know, and and have it succeed to be good. You know, and have it be X Men related without the X Men. I mean, maybe if if like the show was about Wolverine or like a younger Wolverine back in the day, that's different. But making an X, you know, making an X Men show and calling it X Men and <laughs> and not featuring the core X Men is it's, it's just a bad idea. YouTube. Uh, maybe if Marvel was doing it, people would give it a chance. Because I mean, look what they did with Agents of Shield. They basically turned that show. I remember when when it came out, people were talking shit about it. But story wise, I mean, I, I watch that show every week when it comes out. Story wise, that show is getting better and better and better. Um, and plus, by it having the Marvel name on it, people would be willing to give it a chance. But you know, yeah, the X Men show is gonna have Marvel's name on it, but and that's only because Marvel owns the rights to anything that's not movie related. But they're not the ones making it, and I don't think people are gonna give it a chance. You know, just specifically for for that reason, because you're giving them characters that, that they don't know and Marvel's not doing it. So it's like a bunch of people are going to probably be like, well, why should I watch it if it doesn't have Wolverine in it? And that's sad to see that it's probably not going to take off, but that's just the way it is. It's it's the same reason, like, they can't make an X-Men movie without Wolverine in it and have it make money. That's just, <laughs> you know, it's just the way it is. I, I think the only real, um, I guess if you want to call it an exception would be First Class. But, but but even that had you know had Wolverine in the cameo, so I can't say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just, it's just one of those things where people like what they like, and they like seeing the core X Men. They like seeing Wolverine, Storm, Cyclops, Beast, Angel. You know, hell, I mean, if if they really wanted to, to like to make make an X Men TV show, what they should be doing, and and if they didn't want to use the core X Men, give give the fans popular X Men that people haven't seen in a movie yet. Like have like. The core story be about two new mutants or whatever, but have Gambit be a main character. You know, throw in somebody like that. So, so, you know, somebody that's popular that people you know would be like, you know what? They throwing Gambit in the TV. You know, you know, in the TV show, I gotta check that out. You know, throw in something like that. Throw in somebody from like the Brotherhood that they haven't really showed before, like uh, um, in a movie, like you know, somebody like Avalanche or something like that. Somebody they they really haven't did anything with. You know. You know, do something like that. Do, do do something different, but give something, you know, that regular fans of whatever the franchise is can latch on to. Because just calling it X-Men, it's, it's not going to do it. And, and and honestly, I mean, history's shown that. So, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Yeah, that, that's just the way TV works. You know, it's you, you have to give people at least something that they're used to. And as far as any of the other X-Men, if you're not comic fans, you're not going to know anybody in that show. <laughs> and uh, from the looks like it, it looks like they're pulling in a couple popular, you know, a pupper, a couple comic book characters, and then just, you know they're just making up characters along as they go. Like uh, they're supposed to have the Strucker kids in there, and they didn't exist in the comic books. Like Strucker had kids in the comic books, but it, but but they weren't the same characters. Um, and, and they're probably just calling them that in name only, so they're gonna be like their own little envision of of the characters and make it up as it go along. So. I just have a feeling the show's not going to make enough, you know, or have enough of an audience. And it, it, it may draw in a couple rate, you know, like some ratings, like the first few weeks, but I think it's going to trail off quickly. And maybe it might last for one season if it's really bad, maybe two or three if it sucks. You know, they might just decide to push money into it just because. And that's, you know, that's just how I think it's going to go. But I'm sure there are probably some people excited about it, but, you know, it, it, it's, I'm not one of them. <laughs> but I'm a fan of superheroes and comic books, so I'm going to probably watch it anyway since I watch all that stuff to begin with. So anyways, guys, we're going to end this a little bit short. So we didn't we didn't we didn't push an hour long. So, you know, toning it back a little bit. <laughs> we're only about 49 minutes in. But if any of you guys are sitting around listening to me ramble on this long, I really do appreciate it. Um, I know I didn't upload this when I wanted to when I've been slacking with the gameplays recently, but. I'm going to try to do another episode um, probably this Sunday. So probably like a few days from when this goes up. And um, I'm going to probably try to, you know, get things to be back to like a weekly schedule and everything. I got to get the LP stuff going. So I know I still got to finish out uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I still got to finish out Outlast 2. Um, I'm going to probably put links in the description with, with both of those two. So if you guys want to check out my LPs on those, that, that's what I'm currently doing. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I really don't. I'm leaning towards... Um, either pray or maybe the surge 
uh, the one sci-fi Dark Souls type game. I'm leaning more towards the Surge because it's like I want to at least try it. I have it, but I haven't tried it yet. And I'm just deciding if I'm going to do an LP of that or just play that on my own time. So if any of you guys want me to talk about anything specific in future videos, just let me know down in the comments. Or if you guys want me to talk about any other YouTube drama or even like certain videos that are floating around the internet, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll watch damn near anything <laughs> and, and um, I'll give my opinion on it. So um, I appreciate you guys for watching the videos. My name is Dananu, the man with black privilege. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.